following question reads that a uniform resistance wire XY of length 100 cm is connected in the series with a cell L. So 100 cm and it's a uniform wire. So that means uh, the resistance of the wire would also be uniform. And another cell M is connected in series with resistances of 5 ohms, 10 ohms and 15 ohms. So another cell over here which is M it's connected to the following uh, resistances. Uh, 5 ohms, 10 ohms, 15 ohms, but they are in series. So let's uh, go forward and read uh, the remaining part of the question, which is that the potential difference between P and Q is balanced against 12.5 centimeters of the resistance wire so that the emitter reads zero. So he's saying that the current on the emitter, when this wire is touching the 12.5 centimeter mark, the current reads zero amperes, which means that the potential difference at this particular point and the potential difference at Q, it's going to be exactly the same. So if the potential difference V is zero, then current I across the emitter is also going to be zero. So, so zero amperes indicates that this point, the voltage at this point and the voltage at this particular point, they are going to be equal. They're going to be exactly equal, which is why you're not having any current. So the, it then says that the PD across the other resistor is then balanced against other lengths of the resistance wire. Which balanced lengths of resistance wire correspond to the connection points given in the table? So uh, we need to figure out, the first thing that needs to be done is you need to figure out uh, the voltages on these resistors. So there is uh, M volt, uh, let's assume there is M volt, we don't know what the voltage is. Uh, but what would be the voltages across this 5 ohm resistance? So voltage across the 5 ohm resistance resistor is going to be It's going to be so It's going to be 5 the resistance over here divided by the total resistance remember they are in series uh, M volts is going to be distributed uh, equally along the circuit So 5 over 30 proportionally according to resistance voltage and resistance are directly proportional so 5 divided by the total resistance uh, which is 30 into m volts so that is going to be the resistance uh, that is going to be the voltage at point q i'm assuming that p is at zero volts so 12.5 centimeters over here uh, assuming that this is your reference point this is your zero volts so 12.5 centimeters on the wire there's going to be voltage over here and that voltage would also be 5 by 30 into m so the length of the wire 12.5 centimeter corresponds to how much voltage it corresponds to 5 divided by 30 m volts so let's now figure out the voltage on the 10 ohm resistor on the 10 ohm resistor it's again going to be uh, the voltage across between q and r the 10 ohm resistor the voltage would drop accordingly according to resistance so it's going to be 10 divided by 30 so between q and r it's going to be 10 divided by 30 into m volts which would correspond to as you can see it's uh, it's it's double this 12.5 centimeters represented 5 by 30 m volts so 10 by 30 is double that so it's going to be 25 centimeters on this wire over here so 12.5 centimeter corresponded to 5 by 30 volts so if you want uh, if you want a voltage uh, of uh, between q and r which is coming out to be 10 by 30 into m volts so that would correspond to a length of 25 centimeters on the wire similarly between q and s uh, the voltage on this is going to be the total resistance because they're in series it's going to become 25 divided by 30 so it's going to become 25 divided by 30 so uh, first note this down that this is between q and s so it's going to be 25 divided by 30 the resistance over here is 25 and the total resistance in series is 30 so 25 divided by 30 into m volts so that's into m volts so what length would it correspond to if you compare it with this 5 by 30 is 12.5 centimeters so you need to multiply this by 5 then you're going to get 25 by 30 so accordingly the length would also increase so it's going to be 12.5 multiplied by 5 
which is going to give you 62.5 centimeters so the first one is 25 centimeters the next one corresponds to a length of 62.5 centimeters uh, how do we have a an option that only has this so the first one is 25 the next one is 62.5 both uh, B and D look very familiar so let's go back to our question and we would have to solve for P and R. P and R is this part over here. So the distance is uh, 5 and 10, that's 15. And the total distance is 30. So 15 divided, 15 divided by 30 into M. That's the voltage, 15 divided by 30 into M volts. That's between P and R. So the corresponding length would be, if you look over here, it's 5 by 30 M volts. That's 12.5. So it's three times that value. So it's going to become... 12.5 multiplied by 3 which would probably be 37.5 centimeters so let's go back and have a look and that would give me option b as being my correct option for this question